Halt! Halt! You stepping on Princedom of Sulak? On Princedom? Belong to Grand Princess Unzolf. So you need proof of citizenship. Proof of citizenship is 500 silver dollars. Expensive. Is expensive. We're looking for the mage Manolo. Where is he? Vanished. In his room. Well, which is it? In his room or vanished? Vanished in his room. Ask Grand Princess Unzals. Well, then let us through. You need proof of citizenship of Sulak. Will you take ten orcish coppers instead? No. Five hundred silver talas. They don't know that an orcish copper piece is worth fifty silver talas. Yes, we knew that. We always knew that. Good. Then how many silver talas are ten copper pieces? Ten times fifty... five hundred. Who oh, methinks human is right, Glenar. Orcas like copper. Fine. Ten orcish copper pieces. Here. Proof of citizenship of Princeton Sulak. Bury the money, boobas. We're looking for the... Vanished. Oh, which is it? Vanished. Come on. What do smooth skins want? Do smooth skins have proof of citizenship? Here it is. Her Majesty. Say again. You need to say Her Majesty. Here it is, Her Majesty. Good, good, good. What do smooth skins want now? We must speak with Master Manolo. Impossible. Vanished in his room. And he never comes out? Never. Not for moons. I, Grand Princess Unzols, now rules in Grand Princedom of Sulak. Is there at least a key to his door? Maybe. Maybe not. Could we borrow it? Her Majesty. Fifty gold ducats. Will you take ten orcish coppers instead? Is not orc gold. Is worthless. Great Princess Unzolds are not dumb. Here. I hope you can carry that much. Good, good, good. Here is key. Come on. Take a look at that. Master Manolo? I see a mirage. The mirage speaks. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. Mirage? We're no mirage! Oh, how convincing. So we're only an illusion? I have made a mistake. Now there is nothing left. Only me and this tiny globule. Globule? You mean your room? Room. The illusion mocks me. The mocking illusion of my mind. What went wrong? Did you destroy the world? Destroy? God, no. Then there would be nothing left at all. I wanted to create the perfect illusion. A world next to the world. The ideal life in a soap bubble. The idea would have made me the richest man in the Emirate. What happened? I banished reality into a world disk. Now it is caught there. Only I am still here, imprisoned in this meager fantasy. Then I certainly hope this world disk is safe. As safe as it can be. 
I integrated it into my golem. What, into this ugly statue? So, the golem isn't a mirage? The illusion attempts to sow doubt. I can withstand that. Can't you leave the room? Of course, but what good is the best of worlds if you know that it is not real? Also, I must watch over the world disc. If it breaks, everything will come to an end. The flying foxes are being reformed. Wouldn't you like to rejoin them? So what? The flying foxes are also a fantasy. Shall I prove to you how real my fist is? Go ahead, little Fata Morgana. Pain, hunger, desire, everything is part of the illusion. If the world disk is destroyed, everything will come to an end, right? Naturally. I think I know how we can convince you otherwise. Let's see if this block of stone really can't fight. No! The world disk! More keep coming! What you're doing? Who's 
next? What have you done? You just destroyed the world! I always wanted to do that. But we're all still here. Indeed. That is... unexpected. But this means... my life's work! My dream of infinite wealth! All gone! One more reason to support the flying foxes in their next coup. Then that must be my fate. But first I need to eat something. Where are those red fur slaves when you need them? Here's a piglet. Oh, very nice, I'm hungry. His name's Frankel. Well, how do you know that? It's on his name tag. Please, can I keep him? All right. Thank you. Come here, Frankel. Oh, I told you taking the witch along was a mistake. Sanya Bartalar. You said you could help us with hunting? Let's go. Can't you see I'm busy? I have to guard these chests! Iside sent us. She wants to prowl the countryside with you again. Like in the good old days. Iside wants another adventure? I'd rather let a wild black ogre shave my family jewels. Which almost happened at Porto Paligan because of Iside. If you see her, tell her I want my toe back. I thought it was a kidney. My kidney? That explains the scar, that lying cow! So, the great warrior of the flying foxes is guarding chests these days. Yes. Admittedly, this activity doesn't make full use of my potential, but as long as the jungle tiger is poaching in my territory, I can't leave my chests alone. A jungle tiger? Maybe we can help. If you want to take the risk, Bring me his tooth. That will remind him that a jungle tiger belongs in the jungle. His tooth? Does he have only one? Once you see his teeth, you'll know which one I mean. So, we kill the tiger. What? I never said that. He's not just gonna give us his tooth, is he? Hmm, all right. If he proves to be unreasonable, it's not your fault, of course. He lives a few miles east of here. Now beat it, I'm busy. Hmm. 
No sign of a jungle tiger anywhere. Just peace and quiet on a forest, man. I'm starting to think the flying foxes aren't quite right in the head. Ah, uh, don't confuse the mask with the face. I wouldn't think of it. Maybe the forest man knows something. Do you speak our language? We're looking for a jungle tiger. You have found him. Well, you are the jungle tiger. And he has a pretty gold tooth, too. What do you want from the jungle tiger? Our friend Rahman doesn't want to see you in this area anymore. Then, Ranman will have to leave. He wants your gold tooth as proof that we've dealt with you. But if you give us the tooth, he won't hear about it from us. Ralman is a filthy cur. He is the tooth. You didn't even scream. The jungle tiger doesn't scream. The jungle tiger leaves pain to his enemies. The tooth of the jungle tiger. Let me see. Yes, that's definitely his cursed gold tooth. But what are you after, anyway? We're planning a caravan robbery. A caravan? Just like in the old days. <laughs> All right, I'll go to Duyar and see if Azida is ready to apologize. Thanks for the tooth. And now leave me alone until all the foxes are back together. Iside sent you. What does the bitch want? Iside wants to get the flying foxes back together. We're here to convince you of the genius of the idea. That trollop has a nerve. As if I'd forgotten what happened in Selim. She wanted to take off with all the loot. And let's not forget the debacle in Port Karad. I'll never get involved with that lunatic again. Raman seems to like the idea. You know where Raman is? Please tell me. I haven't seen him since that night in the Rashtulian Wall. And that's all his sea day's fault too. I was just about to show him my gold tooth. If you want to see Raman again, you'll have to join his sea day. Ha! I'm not going to make it that easy. Well then again, you do me a little favour. Alright, what's the deal? I have here a small vial of gold glue that some business partners are waiting for. There's a tavern in Bill Lane, the drunken Nevadi. Find Signore Grimani and tell him this. Three is six and five is nine. No, wait. Five is nine and three is seven. Gold glue is forbidden in the Principality of Droll. So you'd better not get caught. What was that phrase again? Three is six and five is nine. No, wait. Five is nine and three is seven. Thanks. Looks like we can no longer avoid the question. How do we cross the border with a sack full of banned poison? We sneak. Stay away from the torches. And from the guards, Norim. That could be useful.
Thick dog! Hmm. I'll come back any time. Please bring back my... Do we know each other? Three is nine and five is seven. Tell Oralia to spare me that hush-hush nonsense. Do you have the goods? Good. Cerastelli will be pleased. Here is Oralia's barrel. What are a bunch of hothouse flowers looking for in Berlin? I think they're transporting a barrel. A barrel that ought to belong to us. But maybe they want to avoid the trouble and hand it over. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
die, will you? My business partners don't like to wait. A delivery from Grimani. Ah, good. Certain people in Mengbilla will pay a high price for that. Certain people in Belain have paid the highest price for that. Leave your dramatics for a sea day when you're negotiating your payment. Does this mean you'll rejoin the Foxes? It's probably the only way to see Raumann again. Thanks. People hoped that the Flying Foxes were a thing of the past. Won't they be surprised? So, you want to rob a caravan? Oralia and Raumann are already scouting it out. Meet me in Festina when you're ready for the ultimate feat of daring. See you later.